About 20 students from the 12th grade English class at Zama American High School recently had a chance to speak with author Matt Richel, who wrote the nonfiction book A Deadly Wandering, as part of their project for the class. The book details the story of Reggie Shaw, a teenager who killed two scientists while texting and driving. Richel follows Reggie through the tragedy with scientific findings regarding human attention and the impact of technology on the brain. I think this generation is so tech obsessed, so tech addicted, that I wanted to give them a wake-up call to help them understand because it taught me my own addiction to the technology. In the class, students studied the book's vocabulary, storyline, and even wrote a summary for each chapter in the book. In addition, they produced a public service announcement about texting and driving. They wrote the script, filmed, and edited the PSA. At the end of the quarter, students presented their video in front of other students in the class. It was beneficial to me because it informed me, like, more. It, like, I knew texting and driving was bad. I knew, like, you know, I knew all that. I, like, but the details that the book went into, like, all the research that he did, and, you know, it broke it down, like, a lot. So I feel like doing that kind of, like, widen my perspective of texting and driving and I feel like I feel like man I really shouldn't do that so I mean just seeing just seeing the details and the facts that he actually put into the book it just made me think differently when I found out what the book was about and how I mean that we were going to be reading it I wasn't very interested because I was just like really we're reading a book about texting and driving but um actually getting um, lots of information about it. Um, it opened my eyes up more and um, I've actually decided to take a break from my phone, social media, I've given my phone, my mom my phone about a week ago to just take a break from all things social media. So it really did have a, um, a very big impact on me. Um, so hopefully it'll have a very big impact on others. Carmen Middleton said that this hopefully will act as a stepping stone to encourage everybody to not text and drive on Camp Zama. I would hope that when they're in that car and they hear that ping before they grab that phone, they stop and think, I can't do this. You know, if I look down at this phone, I'm going to go the equivalent of a football field without looking at the road and what can happen in that second. So I hope that they realize to just stay present and in the moment, not just when you're driving, but when you're with your family and your friends, to just put the technology down, that they understand it is addictive now, but what are they gonna do to not let it impact their life in a negative way? Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, this is Kendesha Paffert.